agree with you that uh, as much as I, I, um, I had a horrible incident with the, the police, I, since that time, I've, I've always said the majority of police do the job a great way, uh, you know, with, with great passion and they do it the right way. And those are, those are people that, that deserve respect, uh, deserve honor, deserve to wear that badge. And it's incredible. Um, and I heard you say that good cops hate bad cops. And I always felt like that should be the case because bad cops are the ones that make good cops have a more difficult job because now I may be more nervous next time I encounter a good cop. And so if I'm more nervous, it's going to be more difficult because he can't read how I'm going to react because I'm tense. And so it makes his job more difficult. So to that end, I I wonder um, if you have an answer for, for how come it seems like there's the, they'll call it the the blue wall of silence or whatever, because these good cops will watch a bad cop um, act poorly and and do something that's uh, misconduct and then not report it. Cause for, for my incident, I'm just going by, by my incident, there were four other cops on the scene. And I remember right after I thought, you know what, those four other cops, they, they were fine. They didn't have any issue with me. It was the one cop that was, that was rude, that threw me on the ground, that was, you know, uh, clearly misconduct. Um, but the others were fine. And then someone else pointed out, well, you know what, if you hadn't gone to the press, they didn't know that. And there was no report filed. So that's four other cops that were seemingly nice to me, but they're not, they don't value that encounter enough to even say, you know what, we need to write up a report. And this officer he threw this guy on the ground for no reason and had his knee in his back and had him handcuffed for 15 minutes. So maybe we should at least say something about that. So that's where I, I, I wonder if there's any solution to that accountability from the good cops to, to do something about the bad cops. And I wonder, is it because they are worried about keeping their job? Because from what I've heard, it seems like that can make it more difficult to do their job if there's any sort of breach of that sort of unwritten rule. Yeah, no, I appreciate uh, you you bringing that up. And first of all, I want to say I'm sorry what happened to you. Okay. It shouldn't have happened. So I just want you to know that from me. And I will tell you that, you know, when I became chief, I always thought that everyone would report bad behavior, but it wasn't enough just to think that. So we didn't have a written mandatory misconduct reporting policy. I put that in place. Um, basically, you see it, you own it, no exceptions. And, you know, and you, ha- and if you don't report it, you're just as guilty as the officer that did that. Um, my first year as chief, I terminated 11 officers uh, oh. for a variety of reasons. Uh, and I would tell you at least that many resigned or retired in lieu of termination. Um, we, we, at the time we were the, the largest police department um, to deploy body cameras. I wanted body cameras. We got body cameras. Um, I will tell you at one point that I think I had more internal investigations going on that were reported by other officers than I did citizens' complaints. So um, you can, you know, hold your own accountable. Does that mean we were perfect? Absolutely not. Uh, I'm not claiming victory in any way, shape, or form, (laughs) but it is uh, an important step and so you can change the culture of, of what was going on, but you need everyone to do it and you have to have high standards. And you know, before COVID, I was going across the country and, and talking on leadership with examples of what I did as chief. Um, and I bring this up and I said, look, I give this sports analogy is that, you know, as the chief of police, I get to call balls and strikes. I realized not everybody was going to like my calls, but too bad. Um, we're going to you know, continue to raise the bar. And when we meet the bar, I'm going to raise it again. And we're going to continue to strive for continuous improvement. 